Hi everyone, and welcome back to Shell's Glam Home. Well, today I'm excited to share another episode of Christmas with Shell. Today I'm doing a DIY giant Christmas wreath. I hope you enjoy. I started by purchasing two swimming pool noodles. These were from my local dollar store and just $2 each. The most wonderful thing about these noodles is that they can be bent into different shapes. So just by taking the first one, what you're going to do here is you're going to bend it on an angle, almost like half a circle. You're then going to take some duct tape and you're going to join the two pieces together until it creates a circle shape. You want to be extremely generous with the duct tape here guys, making sure that the noodles are secure. I then headed into my garage and I had this flocked garland that I picked up last year from the Christmas tree store here in Australia. Now anyone that owns a fake snow garland knows that it can get extremely messy. This is why I'm doing the project in the garage first of all. Now I placed the garland around the circle and what I did here guys was just I took two little branches and I twisted them around the back of the wreath that way it would be secure in place. I then fluff out the top branches to cover that up. I then continue to repeat the same steps all the way around the wreath. Now I also had this beautiful gold crystal like garland that I recently picked up from TK Maxx. I also wanted to add this and incorporate it into my wreath. I positioned it in place and taking some floral wire I secured it to the garland. all secure and in place I then took some of this Santa fur that I picked up from Spotlight. You'll notice that the garland doesn't go all the way round so taking the Santa fur I was able to create another little statement to my wreath. So using some more of that floral wire I secured in place the beginning of the Santa fur and basically just twisted it around and around, securing it in place at the end also with some more floral wire. Once that was all secure I then took these beautiful dollar store white snow like baubles and I had four in total and I added them randomly to the wreath. I also had these adorable little cute stockings guys. I picked these up last year also from the Christmas tree store and I also added them around the wreath. I also wanted to add some lights to my wreath so I took these dollar store battery operated fairy lights and I twisted them throughout the garland. I continued to weave them through the garland until it was complete. Now to finish off my garland I took these dollar store glitter bows and I attached one on each side. These bows already come with some wire at the back so it was as simple as twisting them onto the garland. 
I then took this Kmart Australia Seasons Greeting sign and I hot glued it to the front of the fur. Now taking an off cut of that fake fur, I made a loop and hot glued it in the join. This is going to be the hanger for our wreath. And here is my completed giant Christmas wreath. Guys, this was such a fun and inexpensive project to create. And who knew that by taking two swimming pool noodles, you could create a giant wreath this Christmas. I've always admired those beautiful giant wreaths that you currently see in department stores. Guys, they make them look so, so beautiful. And I wanted to create one for you that you could have a go at yourself. So I did my research and discovered a few of these on Pinterest, but I wanted to give it my own shell touch. Now the one thing that I learned here guys that I would recommend for you is that the weight of this wreath is the key. You'll notice here that my circle lost a little bit of shape. That's because the weight of the garland is pulling it down. So I would recommend not putting too much on it. That way you'll get the complete circle. But overall I'm still very happy with my first attempt at this large wreath. Now, because I had shopped my own home, the garland that I used was quite heavy. But if I had my time over again, I would probably shop for dollar store garlands. These are much more lightweight and will keep the shape of your wreath. As another alternative, you could hot glue baubles all over this wreath. Again, another lightweight alternative and would keep the shape of your wreath. So thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed another episode of Christmas with Shell. Don't forget guys to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I'll be back real soon with more DIY projects, inspirational ideas and room tours here at Shell's Glam Home. So until next time my friends, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.